In today's video, we're going to look at the difference between scalar and vector quantities, which can also be called scalars and vectors. Scalars are physical quantities that only have a magnitude, but no direction. And remember, magnitude is just another way of saying size, and so it can be measured with a numerical value. For example, if a car travels at 22 meters per second, 22 would be the magnitude of the speed. And because speed by itself doesn't have a direction, we consider it a scalar quantity. Other scalar quantities include things like distance, mass, temperature, and time, although there are loads more. Vectors, on the other hand, have both a magnitude and a direction. These include things like velocity, displacement, acceleration, force, and momentum. We take a closer look at each of these quantities in other videos though, so don't worry if you're not sure what any of them are just yet. To help you understand the difference between scalars and vectors, Imagine you start at this point A, and you walk a distance of 3 kilometers. Depending on which way you set off, you could end up anywhere on the circumference of this circle. This is because distance doesn't actually give us any idea of the direction, which is why it's a scalar quantity. However, if you'd started at A and then told us that you walked 3 kilometers east, we'd know exactly where you ended up because you gave the exact displacement, which is a vector quantity, because it has both a magnitude of 3 kilometers and the direction of east. In order to represent vectors, we use arrows, with the length of the arrow indicating the magnitude of the vector, and which way it's pointing indicating the direction. So 4 kilometers north would look like this, whereas two kilometers west would be like this, because it's pointing to the left, and it's only half the size of the four kilometer one. We can also have negative vectors. For example, if we just had these two arrows, we could label our two kilometer west one as minus two kilometers east instead, because it's effectively backwards in the east direction. Anyway, that's everything for this video, so hope you found it useful. If you did, then give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.